Oh, uh, and by the way, I should mention your father sends his regards. He's being held at another facility a few miles from here, and one of my associates is uh, handling his case. When I stopped by to pick up your report, I um, passed him in the hall. Then he's still alive. Alive and well. Why are you telling me this? Why not? I told you I have no vested interest in helping you or harming you as long as the job gets done. He made a request. It didn't go against my orders, so I passed it along. Thank you would be the appropriate response. Thank you. Yes, I imagine that we'll only hold him as long as we hold you. But of course, that means that as long as you continue to resist, we can't let him go. You've been interrogated before. Yes. Anyone I know? You'd be surprised. Well, it's certainly strange. You don't seem to know the rules. Perhaps I should explain them in case you've forgotten. This is your confession. It goes on at some length. So uh, allow me to summarize. You plead guilty to charges of treason, mutiny, conspiracy to commit mutiny, sedition, terrorism. That's a lie. Conspiracy to overthrow the government, illegal seizure of earth property, assault on fellow officers, sabotage. Now, just a minute. Willful destruction of public property, disobeying direct orders of superior officers, and the murder of 547 officers and crew on board the EAS Roanoke. I won't sign it. You will sign it. You will sign it, and you will read it aloud in full view of the public so they'll know that we haven't forged your image or your signature. You will name your accomplices. You will apologize to the families and friends of those who died fighting you. And in the end, you will beg for mercy on the grounds that you're under the influence of aliens who are trying to subvert the government and undermine the authority of the president. I demand to see an attorney. I demand the presence of a full military tribunal. You have no right. No, you have no right. There's no courtroom here, Captain. No tribunals, no attorneys, no justice, no mercy, no fairness, no hope, no last minute escape. You will walk through that door when you confess and not one second before. <laughs>